It is a great day in the city of Columbus, especially right here in the downtown of America's Opportunity City. On December 1st of last year, Rosa Parks Day, I announced with our great Congresswoman Joyce Beatty that we would name High Street between Broad and Gay Rosa Parks Way. Today, the official renaming is complete. It will now be known as Rosa Parks Way. The story about Rosa Parks goes that she was tired after a long day of work as a seamstress and just wanted to sit down for her ride home on that bus. That is not entirely accurate. Rosa herself said, I was not tired physically. No, the only tired I was was tired of giving in. Rosa was an activist. She was deeply involved in the NAACP the Montgomery Improvement Association. She knew that not only giving up her seat to a white man would be a protest. What she didn't know is how long and powerful that protest would be. She sparked a movement. Her action led to real and tangible change. Each of us has the ability to create change, to recognize injustices and inequalities, and fix them. That is our duty. That is our responsibility as members of this community. It is my hope that naming this street after Rosa Parks will not only memorialize her action, but inspire others to do the same in their own way, in their own path, to choose courage to do the right thing. I hope that everyone who walks by and looks up or stops here to get a bus on their ride home remembers Rosa and asks themselves, what can I do to make my community better and stronger? Rosa's protest began on a bus. It is fitting that one of our partners in this incredible work is our great transit authority. It is my pleasure to introduce the president and CEO of CODA, Joanna Pinkerton. Thank you, Mayor. Goodness, thank you, Mayor Genther and Congressman Beatty, representatives of the NAACP, our esteemed guests and all the members of the public here today. You know, it's a great honor for the Central Ohio Transit Authority to help commemorate Rosa Parks in a portion of North High Street will now bear her name. This is part of CODA's continued commitment to celebrate the civil rights activists and valuable contribution to our history. Each year, CODA joins Congressman Beatty and The Ohio State University to pay tribute to Rosa Parks with an event called The Power of One. It's a reminder to all of us that one person can make an extraordinary difference. In December, we will reach an incredible milestone when we celebrate Rosa Parks for the 15th year in a row. During this month, we will hope, help host a statewide tribute, which engages hundreds of Ohio elementary age children to learn the lesson about Rosa Parks' legacy, preserving a pivotal moment in yet another new generation. And this annual celebration would not be possible without the vision of Congressman Beatty and the support of The Ohio State University. CODA is grateful for these partnerships. And it's no coincidence that the renaming of this portion of North High Street runs right in front of CODA's main office. When we suggested the honor of this particular place, since it's Ro it was Rosa Parks' brave act of civil disobedience in 1955, that the public transit is now a melting pot, inviting people of all races, creeds, religions, genders, orientations, cultures, and socioeconomic status to move together. As president and CEO of CODA, it's my privilege to lead an organization that recognizes and encourages equality and inclusiveness. Images of Mrs. Parks are in our hallways, in our conference rooms at CODA, and they remind us how far we've come and how far we still have to go. By taking a seat, Rosa Parks stood up for millions of Americans, and we can never forget that monumental step she took and the moment that she sat down. At this time, I'm pleased to announce or introduce Trudy Bartley, Associate Vice President for Community Relations at The Ohio State University. And also, I'm very honored that she is Chairwoman of the Board of the CODA Board of Trustees. Trudy.
Good morning, everyone. And I bring greetings from President Michael V. Drake. Um, and we are very, very privileged to have been one of the original sponsors and partners with the Power of One with now um, Congresswoman Beatty, when she was at that point in time, Senior Vice President of Outreach and Engagement. Um, she brought vitality, she brought spirit, she brought diversity and inclusion to the university as far as being engaged in what we believe is access and affordability and excellence to our students. And that are, those are part of the tenets that Rosa Parks gave to all of us, to be diverse, to be inclusive, to have those things in our teachings of our faculty and staff, and to have our students ride the Coda bus up and down High Street and to see Rosa Parks Way. So I want to thank the mayor for having this great responsibility of renaming this street Rosa Parks Way. I want to thank um, Congresswoman Beatty for her foresight as far as bringing forth the, res the, the, the legislation for us having Rosa Parks Day. And I also want to say that we at Ohio State are really engaged and we are very intentional as far as being inclusive for as far as our students and as far as um, bringing things forward to really being inclusive to the city of Columbus. So I also want to introduce right now one of those individuals who is really on the forefront of making a difference in Columbus, Ohio, and that is our president of the NAACP, Nana Watson. Thank you, Trudy. And thank you to The Ohio State University, an important role for one of the largest institution and business in our region is to be a good community partner. The NAACP sends our appreciation to Dr. Drake and his commitment to diversity, Trudy. A special thank you to Congresswoman Beatty, Mayor Ginther, and President Pinkerton for allowing me to join you for this most auspicious occasion. Today, I stand before you representing more than 500 members of the Columbus branch of the NAACP. Mayor, thank you for your support and the support of the city of Columbus in making diversity and inclusion not only a part of speech, but a part of your administration. Joanna, it was your brainchild that brought us to this place today for renaming parts of High Street after a phenomenal woman, Mrs. Rosa Parks. For the short time that you've been at CODA, I applaud you for your commitment to diversity and inclusion on our public transit system. Equal access, that's what Mrs. Parks stood for equal access to jobs, job training, and other necessary des destinations in paramount to this community, and a priority for the work we do at the NAACP. And to my congresswoman, a drum major, beating the drums for social justice and equality for all, a role model for young women, old and young, a mover, a shaker, fighting wars, winning battles. You are Rosa Parks. The NAACP is here today as we continue to carry the torch passed on off to us by Dr. King and Rosa Parks. On behalf of the NAACP, I pledge our commitment to, your part, to be your partner, to continue to beat the drums and stand with you to ensure the quality of life for people in this great region. This is a historical moment for Columbus and Central Ohio. Thank you for allowing the NAACP to join in this special moment. Now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce my sister friend, 
who is the U.S. Congresswoman who graciously represents Ohio's 3rd Congressional District. Congresswoman Beatty serves on the exclusive House Committee on Financial Services and serves on three subcommittees, Diversity and Inclusion Chair, Housing, Community Development, Insurance, and Oversight Investigation. Congresswoman Beatty is Vice Chair of the powerful Congressional Black Caucus. Earlier this month, Speaker Nancy Pelosi selected her to serve on the Joint Economic Committee. Congratulations to you, Congresswoman, on your newest appointment. Congresswoman Beatty continues to beat the drum for social justice and equality. And I believe if Sister Parks were here today, she would say to you, and I quote, memories of our life, of our works and our deeds will continue in others. Help me in welcoming our Congresswoman, Joyce Beatty. Thank you so much, sister girl, to Nana Watson, president and CEO of our NAACP. Let me just say, as I fondly call him, my mayor. Thank you, Mayor Andy Ginther. Job well done. Thank you, Joanna Pinkerton, for being president and CEO of our Central Ohio Transit Authority and for all of your work. To my good friend, Trudy Bartley, thank you for being here today. But today is not just about us. Today is about the power of one. And we are that one, flanked by students from the Crystal Ray School, flanked by a community of leaders, leaders like Demetrius Neely, with the MLK Performing Arts Center, people like Doug Kreiler with the Columbus Foundation, people like all of you here. This is for us. It is not by happenstance that we do it today during the month that is celebrated as Black History Month. But let me make it clear, Black History Month is celebrated every day because black history is American history. And Rosa Parks is a part of that history. You see, as you have heard by all of the speakers before me, she was so much more than a seamstress. She was so much more than that strong, powerful woman on that December day in Alabama when she decided to make a statement, a statement of justice, a statement for children, a statement for all Americans that she was going to sit down so we could stand up today. 15 years this community worked together to make today possible. There are not enough words that I could say to tell you how honored and humbled and proud I am that the Central Ohio Transit Authority heard the call when I came to them and we stood outside in that Coda garage, Joanna and Mayor Genther. And there was another woman who's not standing here on stage with us, but she is in the audience and that's Belinda Taylor. Thank you, Belinda, for being with me for 15 years, not only here in Columbus, but we went to Washington, D.C., because we wanted to make sure that they understood that Columbus, Ohio, understands justice, understands civil rights. And yes, Pastor Fred Lamar, when we went to Washington and you joined us with ministers, and it was there that the Rosa Parks statue was unveiled. And we came back home and we said we'd have a partnership with CODA and The Ohio State University. And every year we would celebrate and we would honor her and we would bring our children so it would continue from years and generations beyond. And that's what today is about. Today is a celebration. Today is honoring someone, and I too believe, if she were standing here today, she would look at this audience and she would say, we are the power of one. 
we can make a difference. So I asked of you only one thing. I asked of you if we are going to continue to celebrate Rosa Parks, if we're going to continue to lift up this community, this state, and this nation. I'm going to ask you to just do one more thing. I want you to think about justice, and I want you to think about service, and I want you to think about giving, to ask yourself, what can I do? to be the power of one, to make a difference in my home, my school, my community. Because when we work together, that is truly the true power of one. So let me close by saying, whenever someone drives by broad and high, I want you to say, no, it's not broad and high, it's Rosa Parks way. I want you to think of her on that bus in 1955. I want you to think of if she was standing there, she'd say, Mayor, job well done. She'd say, Coda, I'm riding by where you take care of many by putting them on our buses. She'd say to you, Nana, with the NAACP, I gave 19 years of my life fighting for justice. And Trudy, she'd say to you, it's about the children, it's about education. And then she'd say, Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, just tell them, in case you didn't know, yes, I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, and I approve this message. Job well done. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for being a part of this celebration. To those on behind me, please stay. We're going to get a photo with all of the speakers. And let me again say thank you, thank you, thank you.